It's another episode of Maker Monday, and this one follows on from the last one that we did. We looked at the Carrera track that we built and how we did it with the lap counter that Matt yes. built, which counted the laps. This episode, we look at how we got that data into PRDG Network Monitor. Okay, so Ben, can you explain how you get the data into PRDG that oh, we're yes. generating? So we used uh, MQTT and Node-RED to connect everything to PRDG. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, let's take a look on the version we've used for the video. So this here is uh, the, the dashboard or the first view on, on Node-RED. Mm -hmm. So we have an MQTT connector here which connects to our MQTT server. Right. Here it's, uh, you can give a name here, just take whatever you want. So here we have the settings for the IP address and the user and the password and something like that. Mm -hmm. Just fill this in with your data and then we have the, the MQTT server configured. Okay. Then we set the topic here. That's the topic where the traffic light is pushing all the data. So it's called Carrera Lights Data here and we take all this data which come in here on the topic. Yeah, that's the first step. So the node red is now reading the channel and all data which is coming here. And then we have to transform all this. Mm -hmm. So we add a, a JSON object here. So these are here all on the left side. Just uh, use the JSON object. And we have to convert um, the data that we can use it as an object. And then uh, we have the PRDG push component for Node-RED. Mm -hmm. That's in beta at the moment, but this will come for everybody in the next time. Okay. So take a look on this uh, cool new feature here. Um, here we can connect a PRDG. So just uh, give it a name, I have co uh, called it PRDG push. Then we set the instance IP address and here we have port 5050. Mm -hmm. That's um, the typical port for the push data sensor okay. from PRDG. So here we can configure our PRDG and the port, that's super simple. You can use SSL if you want. We haven't used it here to keep it simple in the local network. Yeah, then we have to, to read the data which is coming from the JSON object here. So we read the message we got from MQTT, we use the payload and we have we have an object here, it's called lab A. Okay. So lab A is the first track, we have a lab B2 for the second track, so okay. we configure here to push this object and whenever the MQTT um, object here in Node-RED receives some data, it will take this data, convert it to an object, take the lab data and push it to PRDG. Okay. So Pretty that's cool all about the magic. So we do the same here mm. for lab, lab B. B. So that's the second lane on the yeah. track. Here it's called track two. We can change this name mm. from whatever you want. So this is the, the channel name which will come to PRDG. And here we have a custom unit because we are counting labs. Okay. And yeah, Carrera is not supported by default in PRDG. So we have yeah. to use a custom <laughs> unit here. So. If this all is running here, we have added a, a debug output here so we can see which data is passing here. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I think let's switch to PRDG. Yes, let's see, have a look at what's happening that side. So here we have to do some, some things too. So we have a, a Carrera object here mm -hmm. and a device for the starting signal. So um, here is uh, here are two sensors, mm. one for the first track and one for the second track. Okay. So let's take a look on the configuration here. We used the push data advanced sensor, I already said that. Yeah. Um, we config here we have the part 5050. Mm -hmm. And here we have the, the identification token right. to identify um, which data should be collected here. And in node red, if we go back, it's um, here, the ID okay, token. So that's where you set up the ID token. So it's a, right. yeah, it's a cool name, the light. <laughs> this happens if you have fun at work. Um, <laughs> this is here. We have light B. It's the second track, and light is the, the first track. Yeah. That's all we have to do. Yeah. Then we save the sensor, 
and the sensor will start collecting all the data. So I think uh, we should show this in live. So let's yeah. push some data and see how it works. Yeah. Let's get some so, live data going. Yes. So the light is ready now, everything is red. And if we, we switch to node red, we have, we have added this, this debug here. So now we can see something here in the debug window. So we get this message, lab A zero, lab B zero. So if we switch to PRDG, so just open one of the tracks. And now we have zero, the, the maximum we had here was eight rounds. Right. So we had a really long track, eight rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good. So let's, let's start a race. We push an MQTT message for a race. Then the light should make his animation. And they're, it's off, they're off. Yes. Now we can count the first lap. So if we have a lap here. There we go. No, I counted two. <laughs> Let's count one for the second channel here. So now we have counted some laps. Mm -hmm. And we already can see the, the, the messages here. So we have one lap here, here two laps there. Yeah. And now Node Red takes all this data, use the PODG push um, object. And now we can switch back to PODG. So now we have here two laps right. on, on track okay. one and to track two. We have one. Okay, so that's all working. It's picking yeah. up the counter. So now we have all this data in PRDG. Mm. Um, to make it cool, you can play around with the map designer maybe. Cool, and that's what we had. We had the map up on the big screens when we built the tracks, right? Yes. All right, that's it. Thanks, Bernd, for showing us this. Next week, we've got more Carrera stuff on Maker Monday where we show you how we put the sensors into a slot car. And uh, yeah, join us for that if you want to see two guys dressed the same doing techie things. See you then.